I do Miss Horsley is my blog. Uh, going on the chapter four reading. Uh, so this is my poem. Uh, met this young, thick black chick from around the way. She caught my eye, had to say hey. Sexy, fine black bitch, body shaped like wine. Shame that the hoe only saw dollar signs. Find out she was selling pussy to get her bread up. The, ple the pleasure she get from getting the green. They call her, get your freak on. Guess the pussy was mean. But when you look in her eyes, you see that she still fly. But when I look in her eyes, I see she's a blessing in disguise. Heart ice cold, head filled with lies. But she's still a bad bitch to the day that she die. She in the Motel 6, still sucking dick. Grandma calling her phone, crying and shit. Trying to read her the word, say a prayer or two. Wish that I could say the girl, she twisted just like her curls. Guess she ain't know that black woman soon will rule this world. Her future has no life, no soul, and no mind. The portrait of her black sexuality gonna leave her behind. So please put the bullshit down, and please just walk away. You're not gonna make it, not this way. Be strong, little mama. Please use your head before you end up as another black person on the news, live and dead. So that's just my poem. And I kind of titled it into the chapter six article. And the comments that I wrote from the article on the back, uh, I wrote a bunch of comments stating on why I used it and like why I had put it into my poem. And so uh, what I wrote down was one main topic that the article speaks on is the word free and how the history of the word and really what it truly stands for. I know we talked about it a lot in class, but I really just pulled it out because it stated how I wanted to set up my poem. And a freak is also used as a powerful word with a lot of meanings, like we always talk about in class. So I thought it'd be good for my poem. Um, also, kind of talk. I also pulled from the article really about how the culture and the background of race and how it can um, kind of dissect this word of freak and how it can really differ on its meaning of it depending on the race, your sexuality, this, that, and the third. Um, one part I also took from the article was a part when it talks about bitches and talks about black mothers and the images of a working class black woman and how the word bitch was used back in the day to title to title a woman and kind of degrade her, put her down, put her in her place, you know what I'm saying? So I uh, took a lot of that, put it into my poem, kind of talk about how the how the woman, you know, is a working, she's not really like a working class woman, but she's a working woman doing something, selling her body, trying to make ends meet, trying to really make it. Um, says that black women hold an image on like basically who they were. Uh, two really main points that I kind of got out of the article. Um, one, it says that bitch was a word given to put a woman in her place. Kind of already talked about it, but then the other one is uh, how the bitch was also used in, as a powerful image, like kind of how black women evolved and took over into a use of a powerful image. Um, also tied in the part where in the beginning of the article how they talked about get your freak on and then the second chapter about the images of black females and i also like kind of stated that in my poem like the imagery of of her you know how i described her body how her skin how how her shape how black women are formed um i feel like i expressed a lot about that in the poem expressed a lot about the, the imagery, tried to really focus on that and um, the terms. I um, also wrote freaking bitch, freaking bitches. Those two words kind of was like a stepping stone for women and basically those who the word meant to or was used to title a group of people. Um, I spoke about how the woman in my poem was a beautiful black woman who was a freak using her body to gain power and respect that maybe she couldn't have gotten. Like basically kind of live a life that she maybe she didn't have or trying to set an imagery for herself that she couldn't, she couldn't like set in society. Or maybe just times was hard, and you know, just how a lot of the culture, it was just probably hard for a black woman. I was kind of speaking in more of a today type of thing, more not speaking on of a back then because these imageries are still alive today. Um, how we see like prostitutes, how we see like video vixens, um, like you could kind of say like models, porn stars, basically people using their body to for exposure, um, using their body to make a name for themselves. That's kind of what I was really hitting on. Um, just 
whatever they got to do to do it. Not you know say not probably have the physical the the abilities to really do it, but really do it as in what God was giving to them. How they use their bodies to express it, use it as imagery and like painting pictures and like telling their own stories through their bodies. Um, it's really how it's really what I got out of it. Um, poem is on the front. Rest of the information is on the back. That's my blog.